Good morning. For once I'm actually up when the sun has risen. <laughs> I'm trying this new routine of getting up at a set time every single day to restart my internal body clock because it is completely ruined. So anywho, today's topic is less of a conspiracy video and more of a I want to ask you a question and see if this has ever happened to you. So through the years, dreams have always been very, well, there are subconscious talking to us or us processing a challenge or something in the day that's happened that our mind kind of gets stuck on. But what happens when a relative appears in your dreams? Or should we say ghost dreams? Now this could range from a nightmare or it could range from a pleasant encounter so I wanted to know exactly if you've ever had these experiences. For instance, last night I have a dream that's kind of stuck on my head. Um, there were different parts of the dream and it kind of had, as my dreams normally have, they normally have like several different paths. It's all kind of like jammed together. Like there's a main storyline I think in the dream but then there's like seven other storylines that all kind of clash. Maybe I, if I've been maybe woken up a bit whilst I'm sleeping. I don't know. But anywho, so I had a dream last night and a relative of mine appeared in the dream and they had a message for me. Now it was strange because it didn't go with the timeline. I was walking down the street and then suddenly they appeared round the corner and then just held me and said this message. Now the question I have for you, is this my subconscious? or if you've had a dream like this, is this your subconscious or is it a message from beyond? So I did a little bit of research on this and people have also had dreams where sometimes the relative in the dream will give them some sort of warning and it will come true. So that kind of brings me on to other dreams. There's also this type of lucid dreaming where people put themselves into this kind of trance, in a sense, this meditative state where they can be so kind of in control of their dreams, they can make things happen. They can alter the dream completely, uh, make things appear and just, it would be their creative toolbox. I'm talking about a lot of dream things, I know. Another dream thing is astro projection. The idea that you can come apart from your own self in your astro form and travel, e.g. in dreams, locations, and it's being used as well by mediums to see areas that crime scenes may have taken place in. So what is your idea on these? What are your thoughts on this? Um, I can never do astro projection, I find it very hard, along with lucid dreaming. I sometimes try to do the meditation that helps you get more lucid but I, it never works. I just fall asleep and then I, I just I just fall asleep, wake up and I've had a dream and there's no none of that. So do you have any tips on lucid dreaming? Have you ever had an astro projection experience and do you believe that relatives can connect to us through dreams? That is the thing I pose to you. Also I know full of questions. Per perific? Oh god, what's the word? Premonition. Two different words. Premonition dreams. Do you believe in premonition dreams? Before I've had, I've had several dreams that aspects of the dream have spot on come true in real life. Nothing major like winning the lottery because if that was a thing I'd tell you. Um, but things like bad news, unfortunately, I've dreamt of the scenario and then it's happened like the next day, which has freaked me out. So it's, have you had that? Have you had any these things happen? What exactly are they? If our re relatives can speak to us through dreams, or if your relative could speak to you through a dream, what would you say to them? So that's my question, and this is probably a short video, but it's more of a talk and throw back video. Also on the channel, I will be putting up a skincare tutorial, because I'm gonna start doing tutorials and just throw in different kind of videos each week so you're going to get a very very different kind of content each week so you're not bored with me just sitting here talking some weeks there will be video games to take the attention away from our face but anyway thank you for watching and i will see you as always again soon 
like up if you enjoyed and comment if you want to get engaged in the discussion. I always like talking back and forth with all of you on Twitter and YouTube. All right, ciao.